for this week's 52 Weeks of Adventure gear garage, gear review thing, I'm going to be breaking down my entire backcountry setup. Everything, everything that goes in my bag. Um, I have the Patagonia Descensionist 40 liter backpack for backcountry skiing. Um, it's actually designed for backcountry skiing. Um, it has everything you could possibly need uh, when you go out in the backcountry. Uh, springtime's coming. I'm really stoked to be able to get outside um, and ski tour with some buddies, but uh, I gotta wait for the snowpack to kind of stabilize. Um, there's still been snow in the mountains, and um, today's forecast was actually considerable, which really sucks. But for this week's Two Weeks of Adventure Gear Garage, we're gonna be looking at my pack. So first off, before we even get into the actual backpack itself, um, I have some items that go on my actual outside of my person. Um, for one, these are my G3 skins. Uh, they're awesome. I don't like the the uh, nose thing. Um, it's designed to be able to keep snow off of your ski or something like that from G3. Um, I really don't like it because they don't pack down very well. Um, but I bought them, so I'm going to use them until they die. Um, a pair of hardware gloves, leather gloves. Um, I put Nick Wax on these to make them a little bit waterproof. They cut on the wind. They're not expensive. These are like, I don't know, like $15. Um, and I swear by these. They help so much on the uphill um, to keep your hands a little bit warmer than normal and to still have the dexterity um, within them. And then my beacon. My beacon goes on me um, every single time. Every morning we do a beacon check to make sure every, everyone, um, their beacons are working properly. Uh, and yeah, I have the Mammut Berryvox um, S, the sport version, um, not the pro version. I don't really think I needed that. Uh, what's really cool about this is it does have a flagging option and it's super easy to use. Um, pretty much anybody could use it with proper training um, from a airy professional. Um, and yeah, this thing goes on me every, every time I go out in the backcountry. Even in some like really deep days in bounds, I still wear it um, just in case there's a, a mini slide that I get caught in. Um, and yeah, that's about it. So let's start on this. This is my Patagonia Descensionist 40 liter. Um, it fits pretty much everything that I need to get out of the backcountry. We're gonna start from the outside and go in. Um, first, I have my BCA radio. It's the BCA Link 2.0. Um, it's brand new, actually. I got it this year. I uh, haven't used it a whole lot, but from what I have used it in the backcountry, it's kind of a necessity to be able to talk to your buddies when they're down over the ridge um, skiing or to call out avalanches and that kind of stuff. It's just an extra communication thing. Um, it does have six different radio channels that you can go between, depending upon if somebody else in the area is on your channel. Um, super unlikely if you actually decide to pre-program um, radio signals. And then, so the Dissensionist actually has an Abbey Pocket. Um, it's super fast to get out. I have my shovel. Looks right into place. It's from Mammut. I got it in a pack with my um, beacon. Uh, so this, this uh, shovel is the Alligator Ride SE. Um, it gets the job done, it digs. Um, and then I have my 300 centimeter probe from Black Diamond. Um, I really like this probe, it's super sturdy. Um, and yeah, it's just a, a normal pro. Um, so let's go to the top. Have my disposable, some food. Uh, I have my headlamps, also in a seal line um, pack cube thing. These things are really awesome. They keep everything tidy. Um, and I know I have this at all time when I put in my backpack. Uh, I have two. Um, headlamps in here at all times. A one that's for my like main one and then a backup just in case my main one decides to not work. It has 
actually come in handy a couple of times. Um, what else? Some Nun, some Goo, a lens cleaner, and hand warmers. So let's get into the backpack. What's really cool about this backpack is that it actually has a side zip. This is where my camera and my GoPro stuff goes so I can actually get to it super easily. Um, it's accessible and really easy to get to. Um, it's right here. It's a full zip, it goes the entire length of the bag. So whatever you need necessity wise, it's right here. It is a cinch top bag. So um, it's it's really awesome because it's, it's, it is a cinch top, but um, it's like a clamshell thing. So if you want to get something in the bottom of your backpack, you use the side zip. First, I have my jacket. It's the Arteryx Saber LT. Um, from Arteryx, the normal Gore-Tex jacket, three layer. Um, it's awesome. It's the best thing I've ever bought, and I think for my skiing repertoire. Um, a puffy, always have a puffy with you just in case. Um, like my like go bag, I could say. It's this thing. It's like a mesh pocket that has all of my like necessities that I ever would possibly need. Uh, it's got chapstick, a lighter, wa uh, soap, Advil. Um, super glue, I've had you had to use that a couple times before. A spoon, some matches, emergency blanket, that kind of stuff. Um, my gloves go in there. I have the Black Diamond Guide Gloves. Uh, these things are sweet. Keep them, um, keep them conditioned. Keep them, uh, dry them out when you don't use them or after you use them. Uh, and they should last a long time. Uh, a hat, this usually is what covers my camera to, for, for like protection reasons. And also if I get cold, I can always have a hat on me. It's the Patagonia one. Um, everyone seems to have this hat. Uh, a water bottle. I don't like using Nalgene's when I backcountry ski because Nalgene's are super heavy. So I just go to the gas station beforehand, grab a water bottle, drink it um, on the way up and then refill it. Uh, usually this life water one because I like the way that it's shaped and it's 33 ounces. Um, it's pretty freaking sweet. My radio, my GoPro box with everything that I could possibly need on a day out with extra batteries, two GoPros, um, extra batteries like I said and a bunch of other mounts that I use um, for film. Uh, my goggles, I have the Smith IO Mags. Um, they are an awesome goggle. They, this is actually the best purchase I've ever had um, for backcountry or for skiing in general. Being able to see when you're going downhill is really important. I usually only take two lenses with me, but I have three lenses um, because this one is super scratched. If you can see that, um, probably not, but uh, yeah, they're super scratched. Um, my, like, my, like, mechanical bag or whatever, I have, I have some volet straps just in case if my skin start not sticking to my skis, I can always get, put them on. A really long volet strap, uh, for if I need to tie something down to my backpack or rig up a sled to be able to take somebody out with, somebody gets hurt. Um, extra like straps that have a clip on them uh, in case one of, my, one of my straps breaks or anything really. Uh, a Leatherman with like a knife and pliers and a bunch of other stuff. Don't really know which Leatherman this is. It's the Rebar. Um, super ideal to have in the backcountry. And I also have a multi-tool with a bunch of different things, especially my mountain biking multi-tool. It's from Lazain. It's got a bunch of stuff on it. Uh, yeah, the most important things. So I have my first aid kit. It's a really compact first aid kit. It has pretty much everything you could possibly need. A flashlight just in case your, back, your headlamp dies or somebody else needs a flashlight to be able to get out and a bunch of other stuff that I'm not really gonna go into detail with. Uh, and the last thing I have in this, in the uh, side pocket, I have my inReach. So my inReach goes with me on pretty much everything that I do. 
Um, I don't leave home without it. Uh, it's always charged and ready to go. Uh, it stays right here when I'm touring and it usually clips right here when I am climbing or doing other stuff um, outside. I don't keep this thing on um, when I'm ski touring because I don't want the, not like the signals are gonna interfere with each other, but the sig I don't want there to be a chance where the signals start canceling each other out um, when you are in the backcountry and you are buried. Uh, so I keep this thing off and just turn it on when I need it or when I'm about to send a message that I'm saying I'm turning around or I'm at a trailhead, I'm at camp, that kind of stuff. So um, yeah, I don't leave home without this thing. It's pretty much the number one thing that I bring. And then of course, toilet paper is also in this pocket, just in case nature calls. Um, but yeah, that's my entire setup for my backcountry like adventures, that kind of stuff. Uh, this backpack is pretty awesome. Um, I do want to get one that has a full frame. This one does not have a full frame. It has like a piece of um, plastic for a frame that you can use as like a backcountry bivy, um, or like a, like a mattress pad kind of thing. And so if you wanna subscribe to the channel to follow along 52 Weeks of Adventure, um, I post those videos every single Wednesday and I post these videos on Friday um, to kind of get more content out to the YouTube sphere and the interwebs. But, um, but yeah, it's been an awesome winter so far. We're gonna really hit spring super hard and I can't wait to use all this stuff in the backcountry. So I guess all there else is to say is I'll see you guys out in the trails and I'll catch you on the next one.